Okay, so here we've got a question that's uh, asking us to work with uh, part of a recipe. Uh, so it's a kind of a ratio proportion question. So we give us some information. So 225 grams needs to make nine cakes. Uh, she wants to make 20 and she has 475 grams. So the question is asking you, um, does she have enough flour to make the 20 cakes? And you must show all your workers. It's a start question, so really important to remember that start question, we should be going through really logically, writing out the answers in clear steps. So the first thing to do here is the classic, uh, let's find out uh, how many grams they need for one cake. Um, it's a calculator paper, so this wouldn't be too bad to do. So I've got 225 grams, divide by 9 and this will tell us how many grams of flour we need for one cake. So with our calculator 225 uh, divided by 9 equals 25 grams. So we need 25 grams for one cake. Um, we want to make 20 of these cakes so for 20 cakes again being really clear on our explanations uh, for 20 cakes then we're going to have to do some 20 times 25 grams, and that's going to be 500. So 20 times 25, so 500. So that's 500 grams of flour needed. Um, we can see then, because there's 500 grams of flour needed, the question said that there is only 475 grams of flour actually available. So our conclusion is going to have to be um, there's not enough flour. Um, need 500 grams of flour. Only have 475 grams. So the conclusion is so not enough flour. Again, it's important start questions. You know, I must have that sentence or some real clear conclusion at the end of it uh, to say what the actual answer is three marks, so we've done a method there for one mark, done another method there for two marks, and then we've made the conclusion for the C mark, the communication mark. So we get to the three marks for that. So that's how you can do that type of question.